Now, I get asked this a lot. Mike, I've, I've visited the supplier. You know, they look really good. I met them at the trade show. Are they legit? You know, and legit has two aspects. The first one is, are they legitimate in their ability to make the product that I want to buy? You know, a microphone factory might be a legit manufacturer, but are they a legit, legit supplier of watches? No, not really. So in determining, do they have the ability to produce the product I want, you need to do things like audits and testing and inspection. Luckily, those kind of third-party services are um, almost a commodity now. For a couple hundred dollars, you can have an audit done on a factory anywhere in Asia. I'm not in that line of work, but, but I'd be happy to make introductions. So determining do they have the ability to make this product, that's number one. The second is, are they a legitimate business? Meaning, after I give the deposit, are they in the middle of a lawsuit and going to go out of business and keep my deposit without shipping anything? Are they a scam? Am I sending money to a fake company? Um, you know, so you have to determine, hey, is this a real business that I'm, I'm dealing with? One of the advantages of a trade show like this is that the suppliers came from all over the world. They spent a lot of money on visas, passports, expensive trade show booths, samples. So you don't have scam artists physically at the trade show. You go online, and I almost assume everybody is a scam until proven otherwise. But at a trade show, it's fairly safe. OK, so those are affordable techniques. You know, uh, a red flag assessment can cost like 400 US dollars for a third party to verify if the, if the business license is correct of the supplier anywhere in the world. So those are in affordable techniques. Who wants some free stuff, right? So what are, the, what are the free ways to determine that your supplier is legit? You know, how many trade shows do you go to each year? How many years have you been listed at Alibaba, Global Sources, whatever? Because those are all paid listings. And in theory, if a supplier has been in a trade show for many years, that's an investment that they've made, and there, there's a higher probability that they will be around next year to attend the trade show as well. It's not a guarantee, but it's a higher probability. So a company that's been around for a long time, attending a lot of trade shows, that, that's a good sign. Okay, uh, let's talk about negotiation. and.